The church worldwide, the global recovery vessel reaching millions of vulnerable souls all over the entire world with the voice of Christianity, bringing the message of salvation, healing, teaching and deliverance to the brokenhearted, pointing all believers and non-believers to the resurrected Christ in his full immortal body, which is the church of the living God, the celestial city of the heavenly in Jerusalem. You are all welcome on board with us. Please join us now as Dr. Edmund brings a message of faith, hope, and deliverance. heaven season. We had open heaven Bible study, open heaven anointing service. It was fantastic. It was serious. Open heaven anointing service was something else. And uh, today, you, you can witness it for yourself that things are new and fresh with you. So, by God's grace, let's get a testimony of what God has done in the church of Jesus Christ. And God bless you as you come forward. God bless you. You heard what the apostle has said. Testimonies and blessings that took place in the Open Heaven Deliverance Conference. Tell us your name and what God has done for you. Praise the Lord. Lord I'm Sister Rose Efe. I live at number 75 Oyedeji. This is my testimony. After the week of the Open Heaven, Tuesday of the next week, uh, that was Tuesday that this last week now, I went to the market. So when I was returning, because I sell at uh, Butemeta, that's so Oyingbo. When I was returning, I boarded a bus from Oyingbo. So when we immediately we pass uh, Ido, getting to almost, we are almost getting to Jora Lokma, that uh, bridge there. So there was a serious hold up. People that were going and people that were coming, the hold up was so terrible. So, before you know it, I don't even know because I was buried on my head. I don't even know what was happening. People started running from the vehicle. And I was looking, I said, who is that? Could it be that ham robber has entered into this vehicle? I don't even know what was happening. So, before I raised up my face to look at the front, fire was almost half of the vehicle. And I was sitting at the back. They don't to come outside. No way. I said, God, is this how I'm going to be roasted in this vehicle? So people were going. That is the main inside on, the vehicle. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hey. That the way to come out from that vehicle, there was no way. There was no way. Is that what she said? Yes, sir. All right. And what happened? How did you come out of the vehicle then? So I don't, I don't know what to do again. So I was stranded. Immediately, God just brought one man. He went to the back of the vehicle. Then he opened the door at the back. He said, follow back, follow back, follow back. And the vehicle was high. So I don't know how I lifted and I jumped down. And even my handbag, that my handbag was containing a lot of money. So I don't know that the handbag was with me already. Because when I jumped down, I saw the handbag hung on my hand. I said, how come? In short, I was looking see, as if I was not in this world. Praise the Lord. So even people, many people, they succeeded, injured. They, that is, they were injured. And boys were coming down from Ijora there. They were climbing ball up and they were robbing people. Even there were other vehicles that were by the side. They, those were also caught fire. In short, I don't know. I just don't know. People answered we have made away with there are money we are stolen. Uh, hold on, but hold everything. on. Hey. When you started this testimony, you said after the open heaven 
deliverance yeah. conference. Yeah. How, how would she want to connect it to the open In heaven? heaven. Uh, how, how would you connect, connect to the open it heaven? To the yes. open heaven program? To connect the church with the open heaven? Yes, because the open heaven week, the following day was uh, Monday, and open heaven, it was also open heaven anointing service. Then Tuesday, that was the day the thing happened. It was also Bible study open heaven. Amen, brethren. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. No, no, because I'm, I'm beginning to have some understanding of what you're saying. That is to say, uh, she began with saying that there was no way for her to come out. Yes, sir. But because of open heaven, heaven the anointing, <laughs> the heaven arrested a man yes, sir. to open. open. The door was open. The, the way that was not open before. The way that was not open. Became open. It became open. Yes, sir. <laughs> which means that in which God says that he will make a way where there is no where way. Is no way. Yes. It began to Jesus Christ of Amen. Nazareth. Amen. Please go there. God bless you. This is fantastic. <laughs> you know, it would have been a very big shame that we hear that a brother or a sister is burnt yes, sir. to ashes. But uh, can I know how many injuries did she sustain? I don't think she sustained any injury. I did not sustain any injury. But others sustained injuries. Yes, sir. But you did not. Yes, sir. Even my handbag, everything were intact. And uh, your handbag, everything intact. Yes, sir. And uh, when you bowed down, what were you doing? That is, I was tired because I traveled to market. I was, it was that day I was returning. So I, I got tired inside the vehicle. I bowed down my head. I and was, you bowed down your head. Then yes, you sir. went to heaven. <laughs> And the heaven opened the door for you. Yes, sir. Isn't the Lord good? Isn't he good? A All better right. clap offering unto the Lord Jesus. If we are, the Lord deserves more than this. Amen. God bless you, man. This is the open heaven testimony way. Please tell us your name and what God has done for you in this uh, open heaven program. My name is Sister Joy Yeze. In this open heaven, immediately after that, we finish on Monday. Monday, Tuesday, you know, all of them are open heaven. In fact, it's favor all round. Praise the Lord! My brother has to phone me. I have not been given, not that he has not been given, but this time and I was, you know, it, I was in his mind. Just to give me and to give me and to give me. This time around, he said, he called me on the phone. Have I received, uh, you know, the money he sent to me through my bank? I said, no, I have not. He said, maybe they have not sent it, but he has sent somebody. On uh, Wednesday, you know, the alert came. And he, gave, he had received 20,000 naira from his my bank account. My brother... Not only that, there are many open doors, even in the vehicle. At times I will enter like they will say, Madam, don't pay. You know, many things. I can't count all of them, but I know the Lord has favored me all around. I <laughs> bless them. Praise <laughs> the Lord. So the heaven opened for her. Yes, sir. Then the heaven dropped money. Yes, sir. And what again? In fact, favor all round. Favor all round. Yes, sir. That is roundabout. Yes. So you are in the midst of favor now. Yes, sir. I heard you saying you keep receiving, receiving, Amen. receiving. Yes, sir. That's what you say. Yes. So that is since heaven opened for you. Ben. You kept on receiving. Yes. Ben, you. <laughs> ben. Yes, sir. Ben. A big hand to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Can you go there? Look at that. You see. Look at that. Look at that. Uh -huh. God bless you. Open heaven testimony. Uh, God bless you and tell us your name and what God has done for you in this um, program. My name is Sister Florence Amobi from Orile Center. Brethren, praise the Lord. Oh, I don't know. What the Lord is for me and my family on Sunday here. In the open heaven program. That is in the evening conference. evening conference. It's not that what happening to my daughter, we do not know. I don't know. I don't want to take your time, please, brethren. You see, this this 
my daughter, Satan have never wished this girl to come out of labor room. This battle started from when I delivered her. On that day, I went into labor. As the Lord will have it, I don't usually have labor because it is the promises of God for me, which I claimed. So before you know it, I told the nursing sister attending to me to come and check me. She said, no, that there's nothing wrong with me. That there are people, I can see women shouting and they're shouting. That, uh, that I have not shouted. I said, you should come and check me. I said, sister, please come and check me. I want to deliver my baby. You know, she thought that I was joking. So, out of those... Okay, let me just please you. Because when she put the glove in her hand, she put the glove, half hand. She did not prepare to deliver the baby. So it was when she now examined me, I saw that the, baby, the head of my baby has come out. She started shouting. Ah, this woman wants to put us into problem. But what happened is that she was not prepared. So when the head of this baby was coming out, she, she, didn't, she was just confused. And my baby was big. In the process, she could not give me epistomy or tear, which they call it. But what happened when the head of this baby came out, the shoulder hung. She pulled and pulled and pulled. I said, sister, give me epistomy, please, to make a way for my baby to come. He said there is no other way, that the head has already escaped. And uh, she cannot give me epistomy again. I said, okay. But what happened? They, they, they dragged this baby and drag my baby, and when they pulled this baby out, behold, the baby was dead. Praise the Lord. But I was not afraid, because I know the God I serve. So, they call all the whole doctors around to come and see that the baby is passing away. They came, including when they tried, they could not. The owner of the hospital was a respected uh, Deeper Life member, Dr. Defila. He came and did everything, mouth to mouth, respiration, pumped the heart, Nothing could happen. And I was watching them. So this daughter now stood and said, Madam, we are sorry. We have, we, we have, I said, please, daughter, give my baby. Carry my baby to me. I don't know if they have even separated the placenta. It does that. When they saw that there was no life in the baby, everybody abandoned me and they were running hater skater to give her life, which they could not give her. So I now said, please, daughter, give me my baby. He said, ah, what are you going to do? I shouted. I said, doctor, bring my baby to me. If you did not bring this baby, I will jump down from this uh, delivery couch. That was when he now gave her the dead baby. And they brought my baby for me. I carried this baby, lay her on my chest. I raised up my two hands. I called the God of heaven. I said, Lord Jesus, you say you are the resurrection and you are the life. I read in the book of John 11.25. That you, have, you are the life. Father, return life to my baby. And of course, you know, I'm not going without my baby. I, before I could even give God the necessary charge, I'm supposed to charge him as my heavenly father. My daughter sneezes. And <laughs> praise the Lord. You see, this daughter sneezes. They started looking at one another. The daughter was looking the nurses. Nurses, we are looking. They stared at me. It was something like her sensation came out of me. I entered into her, and behold, the life of God returned into her again. Then the daughter now said, I now tell them to carry the baby. Please clean my baby. They, they just carried the baby, clean her. The daughter that was a deeper life member now started looking at me. He said at me as for many, a long time. He said, Woman, which door do you attend? I say, I'm not a church girl, but I, I'm a child of God, and I know the promises of God. He said, okay, what you want to advise me now is that the God that has done this thing, that I should not leave the God. I say, yes, I know. He's, he has been my God from my youth, and he will never be my God. Brethren, praise the Lord. The Lord In the process of pulling her, one of the shoulders went off. When she came out, the shoulder, the shoulder, one, the shoulder went off. What are we going to do? I told them, my sisters that came to me when I came back from hospital, I said, don't worry, this shoulder will fix. Before you know it, the, the shoulder fixed by itself without any medication. Praise the Lord! You see, if I want to say what God has been doing in the life of this child, several, I mean, I, I, I make oh, a day. Bless God. That is a wonderful testimony. So, what's, how did it connect to this um, 
open heaven deliverance conference now. My child has been having serious attack. As I apostle, the man of God, uh, mentioned it here on Sunday. Okay, that is, did he give any prophecy concerning um, your daughter that yes. Sunday? Yes. When the prayer was going on, she came to testify that her leg, she had been having a problem on the leg. You know, there was one girl that came here one day, they caught her leg already. The, the same problem. I saw the girl. I know the girl. Oh, Jesus. You know? That is it. So, somebody says all over. It's all over. You see what I'm just telling you now. You know these demons when they are cast out, they go to peep to see whether they can return. And I think that leg had been there for several years. So it was that time that when Apostle was praying for her, that the Lord revealed that this leg, Satan wants to make this leg and so that they can cut the leg off. And my daughter will be having one leg. Finished. Amen. You are finished. Amen. You are finished. Amen. You are finished. Amen. You are finished. You are finished. I will not let her go. <laughs> yeah. I will not let Do you hear that? Go. I will not let her go. <laughs> you hear that? I will not let her go. You hear that? You hear that? You, hear you confirm that prophecy. I confirm it because I know the things she has been passing through. This child is a proper child, and certain of his agents have been sending arrows and everything. But today I am glad that God exposed them before the time. Praise the Lord! Though I have series of testimonies, even I in a day we have made it a family program. This will also, will also come into the program. Into Are you not saying that the prophecy of the apostle also makes you to relate back to what the child has been passing the attack? And after the prayers then, how is she feeling now? What is her experience now? Praise the Lord. You know, after the prayers, when we go to me, say, mommy, it's like I'm having shock on this leg since that day. I say, yes, yeah, something went out of there. And the, hair, the leg must be healed. And uh, was it on Saturday? She said, mommy, Oh, this leg, I'm, I'm very, that's this leg, this leg is very, very free now. And she was telling me her experiences before the prayer of Apostle. And I knew the Lord has delivered her. That's something she said. I say, yeah, that is the deliverance of God. So I am happy. I just want to come and appreciate God because we are coming for testimonies. If I, yes, for family thanksgiving because the things that God is doing in my home, if I say it, some people will say, sister, is it true? But it is true. This child has passed a series of attacks because she is a proper child. And I know that God of heaven has delivered her. And he has delivered her. So that's what I want to come and appreciate God. And I will prepare for my testimony. Praise the Lord. Apostle, sir. Okay. okay. God okay. bless she you. Has, she has said it all. Okay, sir. A well witness is what yes. the Lord did. Praise yeah. God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. A vigil before the program. Daddy told us to vow for the for the program that is coming up today um, in the afternoon. A bar uh, a bar program, a bar dance, Thanksgiving program. So on love, on love Friday, many people vow. I was very reluctant to vow. I was struggling before I made my vow. But after paying that vow on Saturday, I was called on Saturday morning before I went to work. So I came here on Saturday morning and paid my vow. Even the, the boy that was working with me was telling me that on Friday, uh, that Saturday, that it may not be work because people will not like to spend a lot of money because of the the election. But behold, I went to work on that on, on Saturday after paying my vow in the morning. I was receiving call all over just for me to come and work. That is, you were receiving contracts, contracts were coming. Yes. So I just want to thank God that I hearkened to the voice of the servant of God. And I paid the vow. And after paying the vow, no more than two or three hours, 
In fact, I came back from work on that Saturday by to 11 because of work. I was just from place to place, just walking like that. So I want to give God glory that I was able to hack into the voice of the servant of God. Praise you know, Lord. as he was saying this now, there is somebody here that is going to get a phone call today Amen. for a breakthrough. That is a prophecy. As, Amen. as he was saying it, yes, sir. I just knew it. Today, in the, in, the, in, the, in the hall there, someone is going to get a phone call, a breakthrough phone call. Amen. Yes. So, please, when it happens, stand here to say you are the one. Hallelujah. Amen. And also, you is it is it the program for today? That is the one we are coming by two o'clock. Yes, about for the program we are coming by two. O'clock. By two. That is yes. the what do you call it now? Yeah, about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah, the Thanksgiving. Yes. So you now believe that God is a living person. I've been believing before. You've been believing before. Yeah, that's. Just Where were you struggling then? Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 uh, the reason why I was struggling is yes. because I was looking at my pocket. Yes. That is what just happened. Then um, God was so uh, precious to me that uh, when I went to work, within that, uh, after the vow, I got the money and I was able to. And you and gave pay. it to God. Yes, sir. And then within three hours, yes, you, you said, phone calls began. About how many phone calls did you receive? I received up to some of the work I wasn't able to do it because because of time and all that. As I came back from work that day by to eleven. Yeah. To eleven. That on Saturday. I came back very late and I wasn't able to do some work, maybe on Monday. About how many can you tell us you, you phone calls you received? It's up to ten. Up to ten phone calls. Yes, sir. <laughs> The work, the, the contracts may not be big job like that, but but, to 10, but to 10. it is work, it is contract. Yes, yes, yes. And God is involved in that contract. Yes, sir. Somebody shout open heaven. Open heaven. <laughs> it has started. Amen. This year you will escape from poverty. Amen. Is it not the year of escape? Yes, sir, it is the year you of You will escape. escape every danger. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please go there. We, we, we have said you. it all. Please You've come forward. I think this is the sister. Is that the last person we have? Okay, God bless you, okay. ma'am. Please tell us your name and what God has done for you in this Open Heaven program. Can you face the camera? Praise Master Jesus. Lord, praise, praise the living God. By the special grace of God, my name is Ugo Chinyana Ugumba. I'm from Orile Branch. Before I proceed, I want to sing a little song to my God. Amen. I'm sorry. Since I become recovered, heaven has opened for my sake. Since I become recovered, heaven has opened for my sake. Heaven has opened for my sake. It's open for my sake. Amen. In fact, my brethren, I don't just know how I will start testifying of the goodness of God since I started in this place. I want to, I'm prompted because the person that brought me into this miracle ground has just, she's the one that just testified because of her daughter. And as I was there, my spirit was asking me, why can't you come up now and testify, even if it is one? So, I just want to thank God in the very first place for bringing me into this very ground. May his holy name forever be elevated and praised in Jesus' name. I thank God because when I came here, thank God I had the opportunity to meet daddy. He was looking at me. He just told me, do you know you are blessed? Why I was full of tears. But today, all those sorrows, all those tears, challenges, frustration, what's, I sure to mention but a few, they are no more. If I'm moving now, I'm moving as, as a queen in the Lord. I say, may his holy name be glorified in Jesus' name. On Sunday, we were having a program that titled, Open Heaven. But because I'm every day busy, amen, I'm very, very busy. I cannot be able to come up to those three days. 
but my mind is there. I say, how will it be that that is around and I'm missing? But I'm connected. I'm connected. I'm telling you, I'm connected. So the last day, which is on Sunday, I was, I was pos- uh, it was possible for me to be here. I left Olile Branch. I worshipped here. And I will still continue until the program. So one day we are com- calling on people that have pens in their breasts. Because I'm not too bold at coming out. I'm not too bold at that. But over there, I knew I am having a scratch at my heart here. I was like, how can I stand before this pupil? Ah, no, now I... So you did not come out when you were called? Even why daddy was like, you know, challenging some. Why didn't you now? One woman was like saying that she followed ministers and was running. My, my faith was there. I said, God, you know that powers are moving. As it's no fit move through this way. It will move through this way. All I know, I must be touched. So, (laughs) to you be the glory God. Do you know that I left here that very day only to lie down in the house for three days? For how long have you been having that breast pain? Until it has been, it has been there. More than one year or two years. But it's not constant. At times it will just sharply scratch me. I will say, what is happening? Who is, who is doing this? I would just cover up myself a little bit. But I know I'm having something there that is supposed not. So, after that very day, while the power of God was moving, I was like falling. But I know that if I fall, ushers are not there. So I managed to do like this and hold myself back. My mind told me that something has happened to me. I left to, to the house. For three complete days, I didn't open my shop. I was inside the house. It was as if the operation, the spirit of God continued what he was doing. Then on which day was that? People were coming for me. This testimony, I feel the spirit of God will interpret it for you. While the Holy Ghost was touching me for perfect healing, Connections was also looking for me. Hallelujah. So, for me to come out, I thought that people would be sympathizing with me. And to go to you are now too lame. I know that I'm lame already. But they are saying, uh-uh, see how fresh you are. See how, where, where have you been? <laughs> I say, I travel somewhere, but only God knows where I travel to. Only to check myself all right round. I cannot perceive any pain. I cannot see any scratch. I can even jump as if I am wow. I say, who has done this? So I know if you this type of glory, I say, it is maybe it is the heavens, the heaven that has opened for Gochi's sake. I say, God, thank you. Then second of my testimony. So are you saying that after the prayers and this and deliverance conference, though you did not come out, but you were claiming your miracle where you are standing, and now you are healed, you are not feeling all those pain in your breast anymore? Hmm. Auntie, how I wish that I know or I saw you before I came here. I was totally downcasted within me. But since that very program, look at me now, you know that I am very, very sound now. I'm very, very sound. And they clap offering unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Without wasting your time, while I was there having rest as a result of what the Lord has been able to do in my life, a particular young man and the wife was looking for me. <laughs> they were calling me on phone. I said, I know if you come until three days. They, came, they kept checking on me until third day or fourth day on Thursday that I was able to come. So they gave me an envelope. I looked at them. I said, uh-uh, what type of envelope is this? They said, Auntie, you are so good unto us. We don't know how to thank you. But that is just a letter. When you read it, God will bless you through it. So when I opened it, my darling, I saw 10,000 naira. I look. <laughs> so when I opened it, I said, uh-uh, 10,000. Why have these 10,000 <laughs> not come all this way that I need this, this, or that? Ah, uh-uh, my mind told me, is it not just the program of open heaven? And that he declared and declared and kept declaring this is your own portion have it and shout hallelujah so i was like jubilating i say god who has favored me who has loved me in this manner i cannot thank you enough may all glory all honor all adoration thanksgiving praise and worship all be yours forever in jesus mighty name let us give jesus a wonderful clap offering on behalf of all this testimony apostle sir Bless God, sir. Uh, please, may we rise on our heels. Um, hallelujah. 
you've heard all of this what more can we say we can <laughs> we don't have any more thing to add to this so i want us to pray but open your hands let me pray over your hands first of all precious god almighty before whom we stand we give you all praise and all thanks uh, because you have answered this prayer which i am going to pray even the prayer of over their hands that you grant their hands empowerment with the oil of heaven that when they stretch it on these people here their lives will shine brighter for Christ's sake in Jesus mighty name I don't know the testimonies of this day are so serious I, where do we start? So, straight for that hand and let their miracles be sealed and let their past remain over and let their presence remain newer. Pray in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Let your miracles remain. Let your miracles remain. Let your miracles remain. Let your miracles remain. Let your miracles be retained. Let your miracles continue. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Please, you can go back to your seat. Hallelujah. Uh, you know, by God's special grace, as we are standing, uh, that hand, I've already prayed on it, but open it again. Open it again. Father God Almighty, in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ, may thou put solution upon your hands. What the doctors of the world have tried and tired, like they tried to throw away that dead baby, because they do not know more than to throw away. And you restored that baby to the mother. I pray so shall it be that the doctor of heaven, the everlasting doctor of all solution, will solve every problem of every person in this place. No matter how difficult your problems are, they are melted. Because the doctor of heaven will follow you home. Receive solution in your hands. Amen. Receive empowerment in your hands. Amen. Receive miracle in your hands. Amen. Receive anointing in your hands. Amen. Our brethren in Germany, those in London, those in Italy, those in uh, Scandinavia, viewing us live, for a visit them Amen. according to their names, Amen. houses, and their needs Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So touch as many as tune in to this channel to view us live anywhere in the world. Amen. Blessing unto them. Amen. Blessing unto you. Amen. Blessing unto you. Amen. Healing unto you. Amen. Deliverance unto you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now your hands are anointed. Use that hand on your body. If you had any problem, it's gone. You see what happened to that lady? Look at that now. It's gone. Is gone. God is gone completely. Is gone. Hallelujah. Wow. Is gone. You see, that is our own treatment. It's wonderful. It's like you are joking, but it's not. It's not a joke. That's how we hear all the testimonies you've been hearing in the time past. So, God bless you seriously. God bless you seriously. 
if you have been having miscarriage, just touch that belly. If any baby...